Number 70. The following reactions can be used to prepare samples of metals. Determine the enthalpy change under standard state conditions for each. And then we have an example right here. We have SNO solid plus CO gas yields SN solid plus CO2 gas. All right. So we're looking for the enthalpy change. Enthalpy is delta H, right? And if they say that they want it under standard conditions, that means that we need to find the number in the tables. There should be an appendix in the back of your textbook uh, that gives the delta H values for each component. So what I did was I went into an appendix. I used appendix G uh, in the textbook that I'm using. Um, and I just wrote down the numbers that I see here. All right. So I did that for you already. And now we just have to find the enthalpy change for the whole reaction. Well, what's that formula? It's pretty easy. It's this one. So the delta H for the whole reaction, Rx and its reaction, is the sum of all the delta H's of the products minus the sum of all the delta H's of the reactants. So all we have to do is we have to get one number for the reactants, one number for the products, and then just do products minus reactants. How do we get this to being one number though? Well, it's pretty easy. You're going to take the number that you found on the charts, and you just need to multiply by how many you see in your reaction. Now I don't see any coefficients here, so don't assume that it's balanced. Just always double check. So I'm scanning right now just to see if this equation is balanced. And actually it is. So in this case, all of the subscripts are one, not the subscripts, the coefficients. So in this case, if I have one SNO, I'll times this number by one. And since I have one CO, I'll times that number by one. And I have one SN, so I times one times zero. Then I have one CO2, so I times negative 393.51 times 1. Now you just got to add them. You see how these two reactants are literally being added together? So I have to add these two numbers together. And then these two products, SN plus CO2, they're being added together. So I just add those numbers. And that's how I get one number for the reactants and the products. So let's see. Negative 285.8 minus 110.52. So the total on the reactant side is a negative 396.32. And then for the product side, it's just going to be a negative 393.51. Now, since we have one number for both sides, I'm ready to plug it into the formula. The sum of the products negative 393.51 minus the sum of the reactants, which was a negative 396.32. Remember, if you're minusing by a negative, technically it's keep change change, right? So you're just adding by a positive number. So let's see what we get. Um, so negative... Let's just see, negative 393.51 plus 396.32. Ooh, so this one, 2.81. So it's a little bit endothermic, right? It's still a positive, but you're not going to be absorbing that much heat. Just know that the units for delta H in the, in the uh, tables Standard is always kilojoules per mole. So this would be 2.81 kilojoules per mole of heat that's absorbed because it's positive, it's endothermic. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you are all doing well, and I hope you guys are doing well in your classes, not just in chem, but, you know, any of the classes that you're, you're taking, whether it's a language course or math or social studies. Good luck to you on all of your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.